when you think the Western Big Six, I think a lot of Quincy people think Quincy Rock Island. So I think this is uh, certainly an exciting way to end the season and, and for a share of the conference title. That's uh, going to be a, a, a great atmosphere on Friday night and uh, senior night on top of that. So I, I think our guys are really excited about playing this one. But not long ago, this was a scenario that seemed somewhat out of reach for Sean Taylor's team. A pair of home losses to accompany a one and two start in Big Six play raised eyebrows among even the most optimistic of supporters. However, calling this finish a surprise is unheard of to these Blue Devils. We have a lot of talent on this team, so I wasn't necessarily surprised that we got to this point, but it was it was hard looking at all the losses that we had early in the year. I think that's the surprising part, that we started 1-2 and two and are able to give ourselves this opportunity, and, and now we just have to find a way to seize, and seize the opportunity. Now that we've put a stretch together, I mean, I don't think anybody's surprised of how good we can be, but we just got to get back to the things that I mean, we do well, and that's what's gotten us this far. And consider this, the Devils' three losses in conference play have been by a combined 10 points. A few different bounces of the ball, and Quincy may well have had the conference in hand at this point of the season. But forget the hypotheticals. QHS clearly isn't relying on luck after winning every game eight straight since falling to this same Rock Island team over a month ago. There was a turning point. Uh, we just have been working so hard every day in practice to do what we can and we perform as best as we can on Friday. We always talk about the process of getting better every day and playing your role better every day. And so I think all our guys are, are, are playing at a, a season best. But I'm not surprised because this group has great character, great work ethic, and, and we knew they were going to get better as the season progressed. You might look at this team and ask, what changed after that loss to Rock Island? The answer is nothing. And that's what the Devils have going for them, their ability to keep a level head and stay the course. We're getting the guys that need the shots, more shots per game. We had to win out for them to give ourselves a chance. The coach has been saying all week, give yourselves a chance, give yourselves a chance. And I don't know, I think we did our, what we needed to do. We went back to the little things. We're going through D'Angelo each and every time. And, you know, if we can get him 15 plus shots and then defense has to collapse on him, then our perimeter guys get open shots. And it's not like the Devils will have any trouble finding 32 minutes of motivation on Friday night. After all, this is Rock Island we're talking about. We're going to battle just like every other conference game. We don't like them, they don't like us. We're going to put it to them because we don't really like Rocky, and they got us the first time, but it won't be the second time. Ross Green, KHQA Sports, Quincy.